welcome back to my channel and your channel because it's for you and I. Just gonna keep it real, okay? Okay. So today's video is this makeup look. It's very heavily focused on the skin and the lips. The eyes are very simple. Don't worry if you're not doing anything for Valentine's Day. Still, still get yourself together and make yourself feel great. You know what I mean? So hope you guys enjoy this look. So first, I'm starting with no makeup on the face. I'm going to jump into these Morad eye lifts or eye patches because your girl need it, okay? I use the eye patches and I just place them under my eye and you can tell I was real, real excited about this, okay? <laughs> Next, moving on to the second portion of skincare in this video. So, like I said, this video is heavily focused on skincare. So, I'm going to be using this Liz Aradale um, moisturizer. And yeah, I'm going in with a second moisturizer. Okay, you best to believe it. So, this moisturizer is from Garnier. You guys know I'm a big fan of Garnier skincare products. If you saw my skincare routine, which I will link up ahead right there. Just click that right there. I must have primer of the moment. It's from Dr. Brands, baby. This is the Pores No More Primer. Hands down, one of my favorites because it works great on any skin type. And if you get smile lines like myself, or for example, you deal with creasing throughout the day, I love using this PXP Pore Filler. I just apply it where I get a lot of creasing throughout the day, and it really helps my creasing to be outnumbered. I am not messing, okay, in 2017 with protecting my under eyes. I'm using this Benefit Eye Cream. Moving on to the eyes, okay, so the eyeshadow palette we're using today is from Too Faced. I love how it smells. I'm going to dip into this brown shade. I'm applying it right on the outer lid area of the eyes, and then I'm going to start bringing it into the crease. Then this Morph 511 brush, guys, is amazing. I've been obsessed with it. It really helps tons to blend out any harsh edges on the eye, and it's like one of my favorites. Heading back into the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, I'm going to be using this warm red brown, applying this right on the lid area, and then bringing it right in the crease, so right on top of that first eyeshadow that we used. I'm going to go into this light kind of light pink shadow. I'm applying this right at my brow bone to highlight the brows. I'm also going to dip into that same shadow that we used on my brow bone and apply it right on the lid of the eyes. I'm usually focusing on the first half of the lid of the eye. Then I felt like I needed just a bit more of that warm red brown, so I applied a little bit more into that crease area of her eye. For mascara today, I'm using the Brow House Mascara. It's actually a brow place here in New York City. For lashes today, I'm using Ardell Wispies and 600. Obsessed because they look very simple and very natural. Alright y'all, okay. For foundation today, I'm using the LA Girl Pro HD Illuminating Foundation. I was, a lot of you guys love this foundation on me, so I was like, okay, I'm going to try it again. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, okay? And to apply this foundation, I'm just using a damp beauty blender if you're wondering. For my concealer today, I'm using the LA Girl Pro HD Concealer, okay? Another LA Girl product. I'm applying this under my eyes and my color is in toffee if you're wondering. And the foundation, my color is... I'll link it down below. How about that? For my under eye powder, I'm going to do two different under eye powders. The first one I'm using is from Laura Mercier, and this is a translucent powder if you're wondering. I'm just going to use my beauty blender to set my under eye with this powder. Then I'm going into the Ben 9 powder, and I'm using the color Olive Sand if you're wondering. I'm going to use this to set on my eye and also set my laugh lines, my chin area, my forehead. These are the places where I crease more throughout the day, so baking really helps to set those areas in place and make it look flawless. But natural. I've got, I've got. Then I'm going to blend out a Ben 9 powder with my Hourglass brush. I love, love this brush. It's just a flat top brush. I'm going to use blush today. I'm going to be using this LA Girl Glam Brush Blush Collection, okay? I'm mixing the two pinks together if you're wondering. And I'm using this Tarte Foundation Brush to apply it. Then for my highlight, I'm just applying this to my cheeks. This is an angle brush. I'm just applying my highlight to my cheeks, my nose area, right by my cupid's bow, my lips. Then going back into the Too Faced Sweet 
peach collection this eyeshadow right here I'm gonna use this to highlight the inner corner of my eye then going back into that warm red brown I'm gonna use this just lightly under the eyes just to add a little bit of color and then I'm going to go back in with some mascara for my lips today I'm gonna be using the makeup forever artist rogue lipstick and this is in plum violet I think it's a beautiful like pop of color but also you can use a red you can use a nude lip it's really up to you for a nude lip would give you a nice glowy like everyday beautiful finish so definitely check that out too then I'm gonna clean up around my mouth area with some concealer and this wet and wild brush which is only a dollar only a dollar people all right guys so this is the final look for today's video thank you guys again for watching make sure you subscribe down below if you're not subscribed yet Don't look behind your back Chase the light when the world is getting darker I have a dream the only side So take my hand Join the army of the side